Get your 200th episode Bicentennial Long Tee this week. And I got to thank the designer, Alicia Cole, for a great design of the logo. Thank you, Alicia. Just in time for fall, uh, it's at castropolis.net. Look for the details. Uh, you know, we don't take a lot of advertising money because we want to keep the message pure. We want to deliver it the way it should be delivered. Uh, so this is a fun way and a sporty way to support the podcast. And we just appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, man. 200 episodes. A lot of you have been here since the beginning. Um, a lot of you have found us along the way, and we just appreciate it. Thank you so much. Go to castropolis.net and order your limited edition Bicentennial shirt today. This is the G-Podcast Daily. Hey, today is Monday, November 13th. It's Motivation Monday, and this is the G-Podcast Daily. Five minutes of news and knowledge to get you through your day. Let's get it. Start the clock. And on this day... In 1910, artist, painter, printmaker, Wilmer Angier Jennings was born in Atlanta. In 1940, the Supreme Court ruled in Hansberry v. Lee that whites cannot bar blacks from white neighborhoods. The Supreme Court ruling in the case was brought by wealthy real estate broker Carl Hansberry in Chicago, allowing his family that included his then 10-year-old daughter, Lorraine Hansberry, to move into a white neighborhood. In 1955, Karen Johnson was born in New York City. You probably know her as actress Whoopi Goldberg. Happy birthday, Whoopi. And in 1956, the Supreme Court upheld a lower court decision banning segregation on city buses in Montgomery, Alabama. Here's news from UNN with Alexander Caden. This is UNN Urban Network News. I'm Alexander Caden, along with Brooklyn Alexander. A senior detective has filed a lawsuit against the Seattle, Washington Police Department, alleging that she has observed and endured racism and gender bias from the moment she joined the force in 1980, and that the hostility and hatred has increased in recent years. Marilyn Mosby, a black former top prosecutor for the city of Baltimore, has been convicted on charges that she lied about the finances of a side business to improperly access retirement funds during the COVID-19 pandemic, using the money to buy two Florida homes. A judge in Atlanta has ruled that when rapper Young Thug goes to trial later this month on gang and racketeering charges in Georgia, prosecutors will be allowed to use rap lyrics as evidence against him. Some churches in Florida are now offering black history lessons as part of their services to push back against the state's new controversial school standards. Black legislators have announced bids for a revamped Alabama congressional district. A new map could lead to the election of two black congressional representatives to Alabama's delegation for the first time. Who would have thought these two would end up together? Cardi B says she is super starstruck by Patti LaBelle. The two are teaming up to unite their respective dessert brands for this holiday season. Cardi has her Whip Shots alcoholic whipped cream that she's pairing with Patti LaBelle's famous pie. Ooh, bring it on. Mm, Sounds good. The Department of Justice has opened a civil rights investigation into the police department and the city of Lexington, Mississippi, following multiple allegations of misconduct. Last year, the police chief was fired after he was accused of making racist and homophobic remarks in a secret recording, as well as boasting about killing 13 people in the line of duty. Members of the Congressional Black Caucus are split over calls for a ceasefire in response to the Middle Eastern conflict. Five black women filed a federal lawsuit accusing several officers from a Kansas City, Kansas police department of engaging in unethical, violent, and abusive behavior targeting the black community. You've been listening to UNN. For more national news and information for and about people of color, visit our website at myunn.net. Episode 200 DC, The Brain Supreme, is available now. Subscribe on your favorite podcast app or just go to castropolis.net. Your G clip of the day. You heard in Mike's report the fact that the judge is allowing. I think it's like 17 lyrics. 17, yeah, 17 to, different passages. To be used. Right. And what he's saying basically is you can use them. You just can't go out and pick any lyric and use it. Right. These these passages have to be proven right. to an event or linked to an event. Correct. Listen to This is the G Podcast and subscribe. All links at castropolis.net. 
It's Motivation Monday. Good morning, and this is Pastor D with your Monday Motivational Minute. I want to talk to you about attitude. It is so important for you to have the right attitude because you know the right attitude put with the right aptitude will control your altitude. What are you doing about your attitude? Every single day you have a chance to make a difference with your attitude. I want to encourage you today to make sure that you do your very, very best at every moment of the day. You choose to have a right attitude that will certainly determine your altitude and Remember, a comeback, amen, from a setback is what God is all about. Have a great day and a multitude of blessings your way. Thanks for stopping by. This has been This is the G Podcast Daily. All the news and knowledge you need to get you through your Motivation Monday, November 13th, 2023. Have a great day. You've been listening to This is the G Podcast. This is the G Podcast is a production of the Castropolis Podcast Network. Thanks for listening.